everybody! Thank you for joining me here at the Glutenless Mart. For those who don't know me, I'm Jeannie. Like Jeannie in a bottle. Anyhow, I have celiac disease and I'm super camera shy, but I'm trying this new thing, so here I am, facing my fears. With our videos, we want to bring you information, fun entertainment, classes, recipes, tips, and much more in relation to a gluten-free diet and what it means for a person with celiac disease like me and how a gluten-free diet can be beneficial in many ways depending the approach given on the health needs of each individual. I found this place behind me on the Find Me Gluten Free app while searching for restaurants here in Orlando located in the Winter Park area. Before we continue, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow us on the social media networks, like this video, hit the notification button so you don't miss our coming videos and comment about what you'd like to see next. Now, let's go inside, come on. ¿Qué te hizo abrir la tienda totalmente gluten free? Tengo sensibilidad al gluten y dije, bueno, ¿por qué no hacer algo que facilite la vida de las personas que tienen problemas de sensibilidad al gluten o son celíacos? Y abrimos una tienda que tenga todos los productos gluten free para las personas. ¿Hace cuánto fue que abrieron? Abrimos el 31 de julio de 2021. So tell me, how is the store organized? Okay, we have been organizing the store uh, starting from this side because uh, when the customer come in the store, they watch the salty and sweet snacks. And then they walk this way. They usually look for bread and bakery products because, you know, gluten-free water is mostly a baking, bakery, bread. But then they realize, oh, they have even salt that is labeled gluten-free. They have even oil that is labeled gluten-free mayo or any sauce. Then they come into this section which, where we put the dry goods, baking and bakery. Uh, uh, we have pasta, rice, and then you have more than 100 baking mixes. Most of the products we are carrying are customer recommended. Why? Because we want to carry the products that the customers don't find in the big stores. The, the products are usually they are taken out from the shelf in the big stores because maybe they don't sell it too much. But we want the customer have available the products that they are looking for. Um, brands that are not only gluten free, but also, for example, uh, this brand that is without sugar and also a, a complete list of, uh, of things that is not present in the mix. So, uh, they don't need to spend too much time looking at the labels because they are sure that all the products that they are buying are gluten-free but maybe also dairy-free, peanut-free, corn-free, egg-free, soy-free. We are trying to do our best to, to put the lowest profit for us in order to the customer uh, have the possibility to buy the products. That's the idea, Good. to be accessible to the people. The okay. Then we have the bread. Then we have the beside the drinks, beverage, and the holiday section. In this corner, we used to sampling events. When companies come, we put a table, uh, oven, or microwave, and they do some. Then we have the cereals and baby food, all the granolas. Uh, we have uh, all type of uh, oats um, from different brands, from well-known brands to maybe a special brands that people are not too familiar to, but they are recommended also by customers. Okay. Then we have another section that is not related to the gluten-free world. But you know, gluten-free people need to buy household products and personal care products. We are also like a convenience store. Then we have the personal care. The personal care section, um, some people maybe would think that, oh, this is, Gluten-free, come on. Yes, this is gluten-free. Every product we have here says gluten-free. From toothpaste, to mouthwash, to body, body wash, shampoo, everything says gluten-free. Because there are people that are sensitive, highly sensitive to the gluten. So that's why it's, more, it's really important to have gluten-free labels on personal care products. If you put a lotion, your skin will absorb that. And if you are allergic to that, you will feel, you will notice. So that's why we also put a personal care section. Then we have the cooler, 
Um, this is the hardest part of our store. This is the struggle we are having now because usually people don't look at dairy products. Um, I would like to let them know that it's important to have a uh, gluten-free without cross-contamination. Any product that you have at home, if you want to avoid the cross-contamination, you need to even put daily products or cheese or juices without contamination. So that's why we are trying to fill this space. And you have soups, beans, you have vegetable in can. Everything also is gluten-free. This is the most important section that we are looking to, um, to grow. This is the frozen products. This is the section that people look the most because they are looking for sweets, they are looking for bread. Junk food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yummy. <laughs> and finally, we have the Grand Van Gogh section of products that is any soda, tea or juices. We are new in this business. We have low experience. We had just a dream of opening a store for us, thinking on ourselves as people with Bluetooth sensitivity and then putting everything in a place like we think it should be. But we are still learning from our customers, learning about the prices, learning about the pros they like, and try to do the best for the community because we think people with gluten sensitivity and celiac should have access to the food and they should have food security. ¿Qué ha sido lo más difícil que has confrontado con tu vida gluten free? El hecho de que los productos gluten free son muy costosos y que no tienen el mismo sabor que debería tener un producto regular y que son difíciles de conseguir. Entonces, eh, con el tema del sabor, uno siempre busca que se parezca, sobre todo los dulces, las tortas, que tengan un sabor similar al que uno siempre come, pero es imposible, nunca va a ser igual. Aunque últimamente ha, ha mejorado mucho todo. Sabemos que no todo el mundo tiene el mismo problema, quizás no haya suficientes marcas o no sacan los productos tan frecuentes como quisieran. Y entonces por eso es que también son difíciles de conseguir y las porciones son más pequeñas y todo eso ha sido parte de la lucha con el sistema en el que vivimos con respecto al, a la dieta gluten -free. Exacto, sí. ¿Qué síntomas te dan cuando comes algo con gluten? Siento la alergia, siento picazón en la piel, tengo que ponerme en loción, siento malestar estomacal, tengo que ir más frecuente al baño y cambio mi estado de humor. Me siento un poco amargado, deprimido, obstinado y... Antes yo pensaba que era por mi personalidad y después de que me di cuenta de que era lo del gluten, era por el gluten, no por mi personalidad. ¿Cómo tu familia, tu pareja y tus amigos se ajustaron a la vida contigo siendo gluten free? Poco a poco se han ido adaptando porque, bueno, porque yo les he ido ayudando a concientizar con respecto al tema. Okay. Cambiar la dieta en la casa es difícil, pero siempre se busca lo mejor y no han tenido problema con adaptarse porque yo los he tratado de educar con respecto a eso. Y más cuando me hice la prueba genética donde me di cuenta que tenía el gen celíaco y que eh, podía convertirme en celíaco, entonces ya incluso mi hermana, por ejemplo, ella también evita comer gluten, ella y su familia tratan de comer siempre sin gluten y, y más bien han sido bastante receptivos con el gluten.